I am Artyom Konev from Novosibirsk, Russia, and I am a researcher and a PhD candidate working on geospatial algorithms, data harmonization, and visualization in the integrated simulations group. And I'm Daniel Cornell. I am the main rendering engine developer for Wisdom, and I recently finished my PhD on the interactive visualization of simulation data. We will briefly present our latest research and use cases on the interactive visualization of flood and heavy rain simulations in Wisdom. We use our own GPU-based shallow water simulation to simulate river flooding, coastal flooding, and rainfall runoff. Like we also did here in the Rainman project for the city of Graz in Austria. We created a high-quality rainfall runoff model simulating rainwater interception, soil infiltration, surface runoff and the sewer network in a tightly coupled way. This model requires the interception capacity of a region due to dense vegetation shown in green and the infiltration potential of the soil shown in blue which are both derived from land use data. The sewer network drains water from the streets and redirects it into a river or other reservoirs. But the sewer network can be overburdened by water and start overflowing. Simulation coupling allows us to model this interaction between the surface and the sewers. We apply complex shading effects to the water surface to make flow properties visible. For this, we start with the simulated velocity field, which we average over square tiles. In each tile, we orient an animated wave function towards the average flow direction. We blend the tiles together and sum up the results for different tile sizes to a wave pattern that we use to displace the water surface. Finally, we add patches of foam in areas of high velocity to further ease the perception of flow directions. Our visualization automatically highlights important aspects of the water flow, such as regions where water is overtopping a flood wall. It also shows the high velocity of water at a flood wall breach and indicates when the velocity decreases again. In future work, we will continue to improve the fidelity and performance of our visualization. We are currently developing a view-dependent level of detail algorithm, which subdivides or merges geometry as needed. The algorithm only calculates the difference to the previous frame, which makes this approach significantly faster than previous approaches based on hardware tessellation.